Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there, and this is a test. Yes, this is only a test. This is a test. And it's a test just to see what is the hottest topic that the control system wants to keep away from you. Yes, we're trying to see, trying to figure it out because, well, you know, we're affected. <laughs> Oh, yeah, absolutely, because they want to just basically starve out anybody that's not going along with their paradigm. So we can see right here, this is the UK. The UK is, it's in a war footing. How else can you put this? You know, they're in, we've been talking about this for forever. The fact that all these sleepy cellular units at some point in time are going to wake up. And there's different layers to that. I think you have some actual military that has come into the UK, the US, and other NATO nations um, disguised as immig immigrant migrants. Uh, but then you also have just people that are opportunity seekers looking to better themselves, and then you have other opportunity seekers looking to better themselves in ways that are not necessarily moral or legal. I agree. Mm -hmm. it, it's all of the above. And so what you have right now is just craziness. The scenes that are ongoing uh, are, are crazy. And what you also have, as you see these titles, Destroying Entering Homes of the Elderly, as, as you can see, you know, there's chaos. It looks like disorganized chaos, but it is organized chaos. And this is not Pakistan. No, no. This, this is Manchester, England. It's Manchester, England. And yeah, there's been a takeover. It has been a takeover. And it's erupting into what they're calling a civil war. When actually, you know, many people recognize this has been a planned invasion for a long time. And, yeah, it is absolute insanity. So, you know, again, Christianity and Islam have been fighting each other for hundreds of years. And, you know, this is what we've been talking about with that religious divide, which, again, I think is very, this is just my take, it's just very, very purposeful. Here you have Muslim immigrants offering tea and coffee to the British police. Well, you know, they're being nice and civil here. Well, they're also being supported in so many ways as the people that are speaking up against uh, all the immigration that's happened are the ones being arrested. And in fact, you know, you have the leadership coming out and saying uh, that they're going to track down anybody that has been protesting this and, you know, breaking the law, quote unquote, uh, even with just posts on Facebook, yet where's the arrests when it comes to hundreds of people in mobs taking over areas? The, those, those, don't, those people don't seem to be getting arrested. Well, it's because, you know, again, this is part of a much bigger plan, which is a plan that's being orchestrated under the UN and at the highest levels. So listen to this. Just listen to this. With, with all the chaos that we've seen, we've seen mass uh, attacks that included the loss of lives of three little kids, uh, stabbings, and, and now again, you know, there is this division that they use, and we, we must move past the division because as long as they got us divided into, you know, either Muslim or Christian, or Democrat or Republican, or even, you know, Catholic and Protestant, and it goes on and on and on, left and right. It's division. As long as they got us divided, they are conquering through division. Okay, so, um... What do you mean I can't have any alcohol? Okay, well, I'll tell you. Okay, the time's uh, 23, 14, 14. I'm asking you on suspicion of improper use of the electronic uh, Watch. She's arresting him on suspicion of improper use of electronics communication network. 
this is an old guy, right? We have this going on. But this is apparently okay. We have things being broken, things being set on fire, people being attacked left and right. I mean, literally people being beaten to death. And who's getting arrested? Uh, uh, who's getting arrested? It's an elderly gentleman in his apartment. Why? Well, listen. How much have you been arrested? You're going to be arrested, okay? Right, and... So you got to the police station. Right. Okay, this is in relation to some comments that you've made on the Facebook page. Okay. Oh, really? I'll do the Facebook time, is it? Okay. Right. So, we need to ask you some questions about that. Right. Um, I've got my keys. I've got... No, I suppose it. I think keys. So... Is this not insane? I mean, it's crazy. This old guy is getting arrested. He's got he's on a million different medications. He he he, he and and you have this going on. <laughs> chaos all over the place. This looks like celebrating the fall of the UK uh, and the coming of Sharia law. But this shows you, and how could this possibly happen? Well, when you really look at it, you know, it's again those that are enforcing the quote-unquote rule of law, even though, honestly, they seem like nice people, their frequency is obviously not too swift to pick up what's going on. Well, I, I don't know about that. I, I think they're just in a position where they have to pay the bills and they have to make the house payment and they have kids to feed. And they've been told to do this and it's easier to do that <clears throat> and arrest an old man than it is for, for them to <clears throat> not be able to feed their children and pay their bills and have a car and have a roof over their head. So they're putting everybody in a predicament. And, and that's why, you know, I think people would be better suited if they are working for the city so that they can continue to look at themselves in the mirror day after day after day to find something different. And we know people who have done that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we know people that have been in positions making a lot of money where now they're struggling and they're working twice as hard um, because they just can't morally do what they did before. No, they can't, and, and they won't. And I think it's just going to be harder and harder and harder, and you're going to have to be in a place where you're really numb. But, I mean, yeah, these folks look, look nice, you know, but they're doing something. They're still being forced to do it uh, because they can't go home and look at hungry children in the face. They can't go home and tell the spouse, look, I lost the house uh, because I can't keep my job. They, they can't do that either. So we're all kind of in a pickle but we still even though we're in a pickle 
we still have choices we can make. Yeah, and in fact, we do know people that were doctors in law enforcement that are not doing either of those things right now um, that we talk to regularly. You know, this is, again, it's up to the individual and what, you know, they really feel is morally reprehensible. Uh, when a society is such that it doesn't truly, you know, have m real morals coming down from the top, and in fact it is quite the inverse, uh, then, you know, it's up to the people to decide, it, you know, what path they're going to take. And for many, it'll be getting out of that situation or, f or finding the lesser of the two evils. And again, understanding with compassion those on the other side that have been manipulated themselves all parties are being manipulated in this from a much higher uh or well we can view it as a much lower plane of existence couldn't we i agree mm -hmm. as always guys thanks for your support look forward to your comments source bless namaste namaste